Hi, beloveds. Angelic Jeanette here. Super excited to be here. Thank you for tuning in. And um, here's your brand new <laughs> weekly Oracle card reading and Ascension update for the 25th of April to the 1st of May. Um, and for people who are new to this channel, I'm Angelic Jeanette from Angelic Ascension Spiritual School of Healing, Knowledge and Ancient uh, Angelic and Star Wisdom. So what a week this is. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we are leading up to the start of the eclipse Um season which starts this uh saturday 30th of april with a solar eclipse in taurus and um what a powerful week this is and uh, can you already feel the energies building up really powerful energies flowing down onto the planet can you feel it can you feel it can you feel it can you feel it <laughs> if you can pop a little note in the comments and let us know and uh how you're feeling at this time my loves and um so solar eclipses well all eclipses um as they channel through for me um are all about um it's like a wake-up call and um the universe uh giving messages as to what uh, we are to pay attention to and what needs releasing what needs healing what needs integrating within our being and um it's it's such a golden opportunity um for rebirth again um and um yeah going into a much higher octave and um so gosh <laughs> it's exciting <laughs> so this one's uh really again encouraging us um to surrender and flow um and look at our relationships relationship with self relationships with others what's run its course um what needs to be released um and um what needs to be sort of renewed rebirthed um and i'm just being told um also um looking at how we are relating to self, um, how we speak to self and um, how we treat self. Um, are we speaking to self in a loving, honourable, compassionate, supportive way? Or are we still um, letting the old ego identity um, Mm, yeah, we're allowing <laughs> uh, the old ego ID um, to actually keep us constrained and stuck in those illusionary, fearful programs, patterns and uh, conditions. Um, so being very present, being very mindful in how we are relating to self, because, of course, that has a direct effect on how we relate to others and what we're welcoming into our lives. Uh, strong, firm boundaries, building strong, firm foundations once again. And um, gosh, so much uh, going on, stepping out of our comfort zone um, and being open. So again, the surrender and flow and being open to welcoming the, in the new, <laughs> uh, new beginnings, rebirth for self as well. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new dawn. Um, and so uh, we have the opportunity to rebirth um, into the greatest and highest version of self and uh, enjoying that journey to joy is creation life force energy isn't it and uh, enjoying the journey now and letting go of the hardship and the struggle and the strife and the shame and the blame and the guilt and the la 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 all of that uh the old uh, ego stuff and just letting go of it and um knowing it's all illusion and only love is is truth and real and being encouraged to be authentic with self as well at this time always <laughs> um but these uh, solar eclipse energies are particularly highlighting as well, um, you know, uh, living in truth and authenticity and um, not being afraid to look at self journey within and continuing doing that inner work um, so you can release, heal, arise <laughs> um, and um, and yeah, being very truthful and honest with self as to what you feel, you know, you wish to remain in your life and what you feel you may wish to release um one thing at a time so no overwhelm 
and uh, yeah great uh, shifts are upon us uh, individually and collectively so uh, trust in self trust in one's own wise counsel and um, allowing oneself to surrender and flow and uh, having a ball <laughs> along the way enjoying it <laughs> and uh, not forgetting to co-join with us, others as well and um, in, in unity and community and um, let us all help each other flow forwards uh, through this golden age of Aquarius and um, yeah and so we really feel the love and support um, so send the call out to your soul tribe if they haven't already appeared for you and let the uh, let your beautiful angels your guides um, and uh, your spiritual family your, your beautiful teams of light know exactly what it is that you require at this time and uh, what your heart and soul's desires are and ask for that help and that assistance will come uh, for they love us unconditionally and they're here to love and support us always um, so you're never alone you're always loved safe and supported so without any further ado <laughs> because um, I'll share a lot more with you in my um special solar eclipse uh report uh which is flowing out onto youtube tomorrow so a lot more to come so look out for that so let's flow into this week's oracle card reading and see what our beloveds wish to share with us collectively and individually at this time so even though this is um, a weekly um, reading for the collective, it will also contain personal messages, especially for you. So let's see. I like to um, use a combination of decks, um, including my own Oracle uh, card activation deck. So let's see. What do we need to know at this time? Oh, all right, okay. Oh, three came out together then. Okay, what do we need to know? Oh, it's also very exciting times as well. Very, very exciting indeed. Uh, lots of beautiful, wonderful new things being birthed on the planet at this time. Lots of... Uh, light coming in right okay right my darling so let's have a look here <laughs> so the first card that's flown out is yes yes <laughs> say yes to your life say yes to your renewal your rebirthing into the highest version of you so um Wow. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of balance and harmony here as well. Again, divine calibration of divine masculine, divine feminine uh, with your golden child, your new holy child rebirthed. Um, yeah, saying yes to what works in your life, they're saying. Not being afraid to say no to not is no longer working. What in your life no longer makes your heart and soul sing, okay? I'm just, um, just asking oneself that question and, um, yeah, in openness and honesty, authenticity, and um, just seeing what comes. And uh, you'll already have a knowing of what's working in your life and what isn't. And please don't be afraid to release. Um, this is guidance only. Obviously, you've always got free will, freedom of choice. And um, it's entirely up to you whether you take this guidance on board or not. And uh, if it resonates, great. And if not, great too. Just release with love. Uh, we're just here to help you. I am your channel, your oracle, to assist in whatever way I can with whatever channels through. So God bless you. So saying yes to a new you, saying yes to life, saying yes to all those new golden opportunities and uh, that are flowing in at the moment or oh, um, in the next uh, few days and this month actually, a very powerful month. Um, 
flowing into May. So the end of this month and May, very powerful month. Um, so the next one that came out is Spirit Animal. So, um, yeah. So, of course, our beloved. So this is uh, thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. Oh, don't you just absolutely love, love, love the animal kingdoms? Oh, gosh, I've always uh, since a small child had a real affinity with the animal kingdoms and um, yeah, just love them with a passion and um, just see what the animals in your life are bringing forth for you. And of course, they are masters at unconditional love and uh, showing us unconditional love. And um, if you haven't got any animal family, um, our beautiful animals outdoors. Um, so just see what the spirit animals out in nature wish to bring forth for you. And um, I particularly love hearing the sweet melody of the birds singing when I'm walking out in nature. And um, the birds are very powerful beings. Um, you know, they're like winged um, angelic messengers for, for this planet, on this planet. And um, yeah, they bring forth uh, lots of healing codes as well. They carry lots of light codes and bring forth a lot of uh, healing for us. And um, just being present and, and just listening to the birds singing sweetly and beautifully and how they communicate with each other and just feeling them activate those love and light codes within you, those healing codes. And uh, yeah, powerful, beautiful. And um, yeah, so many animals, uh, animal family, friends out in nature. And, um, you know, like I'm surrounded um, by those beautiful animals. I'm, I'm very honored and, um, and a great big, uh, community of sheep <laughs> and um and they've taught me a lot about community I have, have my lovely sheep family out here and um i just love um being with them and feeling their graceful presence and they're so calm and so peaceful and i spend a lot of time with them so just see what animals are presenting in your life with on the earth plane and in spirit who are your power animals coming forth at this time? And, um, you know, they're part of our huge teams of uh, who are overlighting our ascension awakening journey at this time in this incarnation. And uh, yeah, see who comes forth. Ask um, which spirit animal or animals are with me now? What message? Do you wish to share with me, beloveds? And just ask and you shall receive. Yay. So the next card that came out was uh, Trust Your Vibes. So, yeah, absolutely. Always, as we shared with you earlier. Thank you, angels. Um, today, I choose to trust my intuition and uh, your guidance. So, um, again, being encouraged to journey with him. Uh, listening to that wise counsel within and um, every time you journey within your heart just deepening strengthening that connection with higher self with your soul um, the higher self divine and presence that you are and just really learning to trust um, that intuition intuition never lies um, and um, and and surrendering and flowing to that wise counsel within He'll serve you very well. Um, so next, focus your mind. Focus your mind. Um, so thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. So, yeah, I'm being told by our beloveds, uh, one step at a time, uh, no overwhelm. OK, and um, I feel that we are being pushed out of our comfort zone at the moment, which is a good thing. OK, it's time to break free, free of the chains <laughs> that we've uh, imposed uh, upon ourselves and been imposed by others. It's time to break free and free, feel freedom and liberation. Um, the frequencies, your divine birthright, the frequencies that your soul um already is it is free it is liberated um so it's just remembrance okay and and choice choice always you have free will you have freedom of choice no matter what 
the media is reporting back to you or you know it's um nobody can take ever take that away from us that we are free sovereign beings and we have free choice um to choose wisely beloveds and um yeah honor your beauty came out next archangel Raphael. um thank you Raphael, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty so absolutely celebrating the beautiful divine i am presence heaven on earth soul that you are and um and um celebrating your uniqueness and all the beautiful gifts skills abilities everything you bring forth to this planet for you are an amazing awesome being and uh of pure love and light and uh thank you we want to thank you for shining your light and love upon this planet and um helping helping mother earth and helping all beloveds uh you know awaken and and um flow forwards so very high positive um stage we're at uh, this week on this planet and just enjoying the journey you know enjoying the surrendering and flowing and receiving and opening opening the heart fully and giving yourself full permission to receive all um beautiful gifts and blessings this universe has to offer you and uh not being afraid to release all the old stuff <laughs> stuff <laughs> covers so much doesn't it <laughs> um so yeah we love you we thank you we honor you and we hope you've enjoyed this um oracle card reading and ascension update this week and um i'm overjoyed to be running an epic eclipse event this saturday uh 7 pm till 9 pm uh, uk time on zoom online on zoom and there'll be a replay if you can't make those times and it will be amazing in terms of the powerful um higher cleansings healings achievements upgrades that flow through and um you'll know if you've attended something with me previously you know Oh, I like to go above and beyond in my channeling to really help everybody shift to a higher octave and um, so they may birth their new highest and greatest life and, and you know, enjoy the journey as the highest version of self. And, um, and I'm very passionate um, in terms of the readings, healings and um, love mastery empowerment coaching that I do for individuals and groups I've uh, been doing for 30 plus years now and um, I forget how old I am sometimes <laughs> and um, I just it's my absolute love, honour, blessing and joy to help people and groups shift forward so if you need my services check me out on angelicascension.co.uk and if you sign up at the bottom of the home page um, you receive uh, the opportunity to win a free healing or reading with me every week and lots of free ascension gifts and goodies <laughs> so um We'd be honoured and uh, please follow on social media, Angelic Jeanette, Facebook, she hoorah, Angelic Jeanette, she hoorah on Facebook and Instagram, Angelic Jeanette 1111. And thank you for subscribing. Hit the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. Yeah, and share it with your beloveds. Thank you for honouring my channeled offerings. Oh, I love you. I thank you. I honour you. I love you, I thank you, I honor you. I love you, I thank you, I honor you. <laughs> oh, let's have a little sing song together, you know. I love uh, incorporating and uh, sound, sacred geometry, color, light language with all, with all my transmissions and uh, the eclipse uh, will include transmission, guided meditation and uh, lots of wonderful upgrades and attunements and uh, so much more. <sighs> Recalibration on all levels. Let's sing together. I am the Christ light. That's what they just say. I am the Christ light. I am the Christ light. I am the Christ light of all that is. 
I am the Christ light. I am the Christ light. I am the Christ light. <laughs> I am that I am that I am that I am. I am that I am that I am. I am that I am that I am that I am. I am that I am that I am. Let's affirm together now. I love you. I thank you. I honor you. I love you. I thank you. I honor you. I love you, I thank you, I honor you. Feel the truth of these words. Feel the truth of these words. Feel the truth of these words, beloved. Beloved, 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 beloved. Beloved, beloved. Feel how good you feel. Feel how good you feel. Feel how good you feel, beloved. Be in your truthful, divine, authentic self. <laughs> feel how good it feels. Oh, feel yourself connected, the ascended crystalline heart. Diamond Heart, oh, beloved Mother Taragaya, and the great central sun above you, holding you in beautiful light as the light flows in waves from below you and above you, meeting at your heart center and flowing out into this world in a continuous flowing cycle of life. Ah, oh, we wish you the most beautiful week ahead. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and please share with your beloveds. I'm Angelic Jeanette from Angelic Ascension, and it's been my true honour. Thank you for supporting my channeled offerings. So hopefully see you on Saturday for the Eclipse event. And I'll put the link uh, in the description under this uh, video. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you next Monday for your weekly Oracle card update and uh, Ascension update. So bye for now, my darlings. One love, one heart, one unified family of light. We love you. Thank you, Annie. Okay, my loves, with you a beautiful week ahead. Enjoy the eclipse energies. If you need anything, you know where I am. Love you, honeys. Bye for now.